Hello there, folks. <clears throat> this quick video today is going to talk about something new I discovered. Redline shared with me a method to find out what the IP address is of a headless unit, that is, one that doesn't have an HMI display on it or something that lets you see what the IP address is. So, what I'm getting at here is uh, let's say, for instance, that uh, I've got an Edge product here. I'm playing with an Edge device. And if I go over here to communications on the left, and if I click on the word network right here, uh, if I configure this as a manual configuration, this would be your typical IP address here. But if I put this guy in DHCP mode and I download this to the unit, uh, there's no way for me to find out what the IP address is of the unit because there's no display. Now, Normally, I would teach you, I'd go to display pages, and if you were using a HMI version, I always like to put on all of my databases, I will go over to the lower left-hand corner, or lower right-hand corner, I'm sorry, and click on system. And in the system section, if you expand the functions, and then expand the network port, there's a function here called get net IP. And I'm gonna drag this guy out here, because this function, will return the IP address of the screen. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger, boom, 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 bold it, and do that. But the problem here is that, again, this Edge controller, all it has is a virtual web server. So in this case, I've got the web page turned on, port 80, uh, normal control here, but again, I don't know what the IP address of the unit is. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB cable to this thing. So I'll take this from this little video and show I plug this in here. All right, you just heard that the red line got connected to the USB drive device. And I'm going to go ahead and download this to the unit. Uh, really? I guess I have to format the disk. That's interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hit the update button here. Well, I think it updated. Let's see your link, send. Okay, there it went. All right, so the thing I've learned here in Red Lion is there's a utility uh, that you can use in the uh, directory where Red Lion is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my file manager. Whatever. Yeah, okay. And I'm going to go, um, actually, I'm going to go to the DOS prompt here, local disk. I'm going to go to Program Files x86, and then inside Program Files, I'm going to go down to the directory called Redline Controls, and then I'll go into Crimson 3.1, and then in here, I'm going to go into Utilities. Now, there's a function here called Send that I've learned, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the DOS prompt to execute this function. So if I go here and just type CMD, to get to the DOS prompt. Then the DOS window opens up. Now I want to go back to the main directory. So I'll do CD forward slash, and that takes me back. And I need to get into this directory. So uh, I'm going to teach you a shortcut here. If I go up here, and if I just click on this field, let me just do it again. If I click up here, you can see right here, folks, it shows you the, the raw directory. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to right click and copy that. And then I'm going to go back here to this here and I'm going to do CD space. And then I'm going to take my mouse. I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to paste. And then I'm going to hit enter. And now look, I'm in that directory. So I'm going to execute the send command that I just learned about. I'm going to type send, oops, S E N D space hyphen USB space hyphen IP. And then I'm going to do a zero. Let's see what it gets back. So it comes back with this here. Now I want to look at what's configured on port one. So let me hit it again here. I'm going to change this zero. By the way, there's a shortcut. If you hit the up arrow in DOS, it'll recall what you typed before. So I'm going to put a one in, hit enter. Notice it says no IP address here. Well, if you watch the video, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to take the Ethernet cable. I'm going to plug this into Ethernet 1 that's on this guy, which is connected to my network here. And let's go back here while that's configured. I'll hit the up arrow here. 
Let's see, it still says read IP, so I assume that it's trying to get an IP address from the DHCP server here. So we'll hit this a few more times. There it is. You can see it come alive, but that's not a valid IP address. 169 is not. Hit it again, and maybe I won't. Aha, here we go. And look, this then is the IP address that it got from the server here, the DHCP server. So now that we know that in this example, it's 192.168.1.26, that is Ethernet 1. By the way, if you want to look at the second Ethernet port, you can just go the same command, change that 1 to a 2, and it would give you what the IP address is for that one. But I'm not using that here, so I'm just going to use number 1. Okay, so C.26. So if I open up a browser and uh, we can look at the web page, let's go here and see if this browser is open. And supposedly, if I put in 192.168.1.26, there it is. And we click Remote View. And there's that IP address right there. So that's a quick, easy way to use the send USB command to find what the IP address is for something that's DHCP. That's a pretty cool trick that I had not seen before. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.